Ariel Sharon's career stretched across most of Israel's 65-year history. As one of Israel's most famous generals, he was known for bold tactics and an occasional refusal to obey orders. As a politician, he became known as the bulldozer. Contemptuous of his critics, were also capable of getting things done. Ariel Sharon was a commander in the Israeli army from its inception in 1948. He participated prominently in the 1948 War of Independence, becoming one of Israel's greatest field commanders. The Israeli public even nicknamed him the King of Israel and the Lion of God. After retiring from the army, Sharon joined the right-wing Likud party, serving in a number of ministerial posts. But in 1983, an Israeli government commission found that Sharon bore personal responsibility for the massacre of hundreds of Palestinian civilians by Lebanese militia during the 1982 Lebanon War. He subsequently lost his job as defense minister. But Sharon slowly managed to rehabilitate his political career. For years, he was a driving force in the movement to build settlements in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. He became the leader of Likud in 2000 and served as Israeli Prime Minister from 2001 to 2006. During his time in office, he initiated a tough crackdown against Palestinian uprising. The ensuing violence left more than 3,000 Palestinians and 1,000 Israelis dead. But in a dramatic turnaround, Sharon led Israel's unilateral withdrawal from Gaza in 2005, ending a 38-year military occupation. It was a move that forced him to break away from the hardline Likud and form the centrist Kadima Party. Kadima was cruising to victory in the 2006 parliamentary elections when Sharon suffered his stroke. He'd been expected to make even bolder moves in his second term, taking Israeli forces out of many parts of the West Bank. On April the 11th, the Israeli cabinet declared Sharon permanently incapacitated, marking the end of an era and a political farewell to Ariel Sharon.